This video was never supposed to be posted. You guys really want to see where this went. So please enjoy our Out of the Vault, Can You Survive Backrooms Part 2. No, we'll keep going. We'll, we'll see how far we can get. Okay. Actually, we have not been bad at our choices. No, you guys have been great. Considering Daniel doesn't know anything. Yeah, considering that I'm not giving away any facial expressions, it goes to show that you two have played way too many games in these scenarios at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... So, what level are we at? You're still level five. Now, you have a couple of options. You can take a dark wooden door, or you can find an open door that has, like, a forest scenery outside of it. Enter a metal door, or you can enter an airlock door, or you can enter our large wooden wooden gate rarely found in the Beverly room. Always pick the creepiest one because they're trying to get stimulation out of it, right? But then Daniel emphasized Beverly room. My emphasis doesn't mean anything because I don't even know what these doors end up or in. Or like the wiki page emphasized it. We so, so far, we theorized that we're underground, right? Why yeah. is there a forest outside? Oh, that's an oxygen factory. Oh, yeah. Basically, it creates an oxygen for us and there's probably a, some sort of like a tube that pumps up oxygen to mm. other levels. Probably has some sort of wiring connected to all the other levels which means they could tell us something. We go to the forest. <gasps> we, should, we should let say at least make one choice in this Sorry. entire episode. <laughs> but then I like your idea of like, so then we can follow one of the tubes and then maybe luckily we'll end up at a lower level. Okay, you guys want to go to level 63? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, you guys want to go to the Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Scrap the idea. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind Find never the creepiest mind. idea. Find no, the creep no, no. creepiest door. We, we can't. We... <laughs> okay, Level okay. 69? No, 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 no. No, we are. No. I can't believe I just said <laughs> Okay, somewhere else. This is some rookie, rookie <laughs> DM mistake. <laughs> oh, you guys want to go into the trap? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Beverly door. Okay. You enter the Beverly room, which is also known as the Eternal Ballroom. It seems to be another main hub area in level five now rarely a large wooden gate is found in the beverly room but this time you guys see it and you enter through it you open the door to see an expansive hedge maze the hedges are extremely high it's just dark green leaves everywhere this level is level 84 it's class three it's unsafe although it is secure and habitable there are medium entity counts this place gives me those fourth harry potter movie yeah, vibe yeah. where <laughs> they were put into a uh, to some labyrinth of forest mm -hmm. yeah, you can walk around there's some light fog that persists all the time if there's a pot anywhere tip it over or else voldemort might come out of it but that would be a pleasant death just one spell it's not just a maze every so often wanderers come across large spacious you know, areas all of these spells should fail because the pronunciations are awful like yeah how hermione said it's not when guardian leviosa it's leviosa proper pronunciation is the basic necessities of a spell and voldemort just ignores that completely like his spells are either ah, Cadaver or no! <laughs> Why are we talking about Harry Potter again? I don't know. So you can either stick to the maze or sometimes you'll end up in these parks that are kind of more open space within this maze. Do you go to the parks or say within the maze? Within the maze. Because then monsters will be harder to find us. The maze makes it difficult for us to navigate because we're a visual creature. We rely on eyes to get information. Can we hide inside the hedge? Actually, I give say a boost. It's still too high. Throw say into the air like a javelin. Yay, <laughs> throw me. You guys really want to do that? Yes. <laughs> Ellie. Quick jump. You throw Say up in the air. She Woo! falls down and she twisted her ankle. Aw, Okay, bye, bye bye, Say. What did I see? You saw some parks. There seems to be people there and just a bunch of maze. So there are people in the park. Did you see people or entities, Say? She doesn't know. You guys got to choose. You stay in the maze or go to the park? Go, go to the, the park. park. Parks are called safety parks. They're the main zones where wanderers meet and these are habitable and safe because the mazes are where the entities live. Oh, yeah. twisting her ankle was so worth it. So it's like park. Maze Runner. These parks have supply crates and useful items such as almond water. By the way, they're the main source of hydration here. Almond water. Why? Almond water? We don't know why, but almond water just keeps seems to appear in the back rooms. The group Meg, we talked about before, mm -hmm. also has hubs here. They made houses in some of these parks. People live here in this place, not going any further. They've been traumatized by some of the entities they saw that they didn't get to see in level one, and they just chose to live here out of fear, preventing them to continue. Is there anyone helpful that could tell us anything anything you can attempt to go into the hedge themselves and you'll end up somewhere but if you get stuck in the wall while trying to get through to it you might 
end up somewhere else. But then who gets to decide if we're stuck or not? You? You, you can decide whether you want to get we stuck or not. We glitched in here. This might be our way to glitch out. Oh, getting stuck. This old man says there is this room-like area and there's a party hat in the middle of that room. And whoever touches it, they just disappear. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Do we get smaller? They say it leads you to somewhere fun. How would you know that? How would you Did know you go that? there and get back? Oh, uh, no, it just says that on the on a piece of paper. Now you can do whatever you want. These are some of the options. I'll tell you right now that uh, I would not recommend the party hat touching thing. But now I'm curious. If you aren't going to choose it, I can tell you what happens. But if you choose it, then that's where you'll end up. So it's probably something terrible and bad or dangerous. But then we can end this episode. We have been recording for a long time. But I want to win. There is no winning. I told you there's no escape. You just see how far you can get. Like if you can get to like level 999, then that would be pretty much winning. So wait, the goal is to go down the rabbit hole? Well, I don't know what the goal is. I don't even know how back room's supposed to end, but I know you can't get out of it. Then can you tell us what happens? Tell you what happens if you touch the party hat. It's so messed up. It says, if you touch the party hat, you teleport into a small party room. There's lots of cakes and almond water, and it just says, we have so much fun here. And it says, don't upset the host. Not bad. Not bad. Don't upset the host. There's no host. And what's the catch here? Once you enter here, the only exit option is, why would you want to leave? Smiley face. <gasps> this is one of the endings. You party here forever. No, that's a nightmare. Because leaving would upset the host. There is a secret party goer hidden that continuously changes any information about this place. Every time somebody writes something bad about it, they just change it to, it's so fun here. It's a party here. There's a review. Any time anyone writes a note or a report warning oh, okay or warning it changed somebody changes it so that would have been something that we could have dived into if you chose that you guys keep on making good choices i don't know how to end this hedges <laughs> or do we get stuck well we have the old men right now, now i'm curious if the other people are actually people they're people they're wanderers like can us. we ask them can we ask like 10 people yeah what did you do before coming here okay i was a chef i was an accountant well i like to film video oh i was a gamer bro i was going to college i was trying to get my life together and all of a sudden I ended up oh well you see I was a mayor of some city and now I'm a mayor of this place because I'm a there you go <laughs> <laughs> they're all wanderers they're all people does anyone any one of you feel like I've had enough of this and I'll donate my body to science no <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they're all here out of fear they all physically cannot continue they don't like it living here because it's very mundane and I offer you an escape to death what would you choose Daniel because you don't know the answers I don't yet, know right? the answers either honestly I kind of like that fact that you try to go through the walls mm. i kind of want to try that okay. okay let's go with it so you attempt to no clip through the hedge maze wall and you can either go through two different levels and we're gonna choose which one one or two three <laughs> uh, we'll just go with two okay we're going to enter a camp Huh. It appears to be an abandoned campground and it is always nighttime here. It's a level 118. The survival difficulty is class E, not even a number. It's unsecure, it's a hostile environment. But there's minimal entity count. There's so there's one really big one. Mm -hmm. Now, when you first enter, you're greeted by a welcoming Smokey the Bear sign. And there's enough lanterns to see tents in the campground. Mm. It says, however, the innate hostility of the level will soon become apparent if you stay here for too long. There's six tents scattered around the level. Near the entrance, there's also a Range Rover. Ooh, Range Rover? I always wanted a Range Rover. Now, you can either choose to sleep in the tents or check the Range Rover out. My plan was to turn off for all the lanterns because it says the hostility will soon become apparent, right? So if we turn off the lights, it won't be apparent? Yeah, it'll maybe it's attracted to light. That's how it gets us. So you, you can try taking out one of the lanterns. Kapow! Yeah, I, I smash and turn off the lanterns. Taking the lantern from one will cause acid rain to fall. So acid rain no, starts no to fall down. No, no rhyme or reason. What's the cause of it? Until you put it back. But I smashed it! Well, now there's acid rain coming down, so figure okay, something rover, out. Rover, rover, rover! Over. Okay, do you enter the back seat? Do you enter the front seat? Front seat! Or do you open the trunk? Oh. Trunk, trunk, trunk. Trunk? But do you know how to drive? I don't know how to drive. I know how to drive. Okay. Well, if we try to drive on the front seat, there's going to be something in the trunk. Yeah, and it's always safe to, to check the trunks. Or you can open the hood if you want. The hood? Not a lot of time. Acid rain. Trunk. Trunk? Trunk. Trunk. Okay, if you open the trunk, it'll release a poisonous gas. And Are you, you kidding me? <laughs> 
that can be only contracted by almond water. Did you get any? Yes. No, you did not. <laughs> Why? Animator, just draw it in my hand right now. Just draw okay, it. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. So let's say you had almond water and you guys drank a little bit of it. You guys are fine. But this is it. If you get it wrong again, you're dead and we can play video games. So it's either backseat or front seat or hood. Or the ho hood. Let's go with hood. But then he didn't give it us an option at the beginning. Did you just not read it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't feel like Range Rover is an option because giving us a car in this situation is not really safe. Like we could just drive off to anywhere. We could end up trying to smash into something. So whoever programmed this would not risk a damage. So the hood probably doesn't have an engine in there. It probably has an entrance. Sure. I like that idea. You open up the hood and instead of any engines, it's a gateway. Woo! Booyah! You enter it because the acid water is falling very heavily. <laughs> now, if you pick the back seat, there would have been a gas leak and eventually the car would have exploded because of the forest fire. And the front seat, once you start up the car, it'll explode. So you enter the hood. <laughs> From now on, because I want the video to end, you guys won't get any warnings with your actions. Mm -hmm. If you make the wrong actions, you'll die because it's been an hour and a half, okay? <laughs> you guys have done way too well and I feel like the difficulty needs to be raised way higher. Okay, Now, try us. Level 135 is a dense wood forest. Oh. So technically, they should have died when they chose the trunk, but I let that one slide thinking, you know, they're gonna make a wrong decision again. Eh, well, there's a whole part three to this, so uh, I was wrong. I was, I was very wrong. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>